Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Rob Banke and welcome to another episode of Critical Spotlight. Today we have Jacob, one of our latest members over at Halborn. Uh, Jacob, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey Rob, pleasure to be here. So my name is Jacob and I work as a security engineer at Halborn where I primarily focus on DeFi projects in my day-to-day -day work. Sounds good. Uh, you obviously found yourself a critical in a recent DeFi project. Uh, tell us about your finding. Yes, so I would like to um, show the pretty interesting pattern. And this particular bug was found on some recent assessment. And I would like to tell how protection for one of the most well-known bug in Web3 reentrancy um, can break a mechanism in the protocol. So uh, let's imagine a scenario where external function intended to be called by any user implements also non-reentrant modifier as a protection against reentrancy. And uh, this function is um, doing some internal calls, some calculations, some complex DeFi, and based on um, some calculations, some results of calculations, it is also making external call to the other function um, defined within the code base. And uh, this callie function needed to get some data stored in, in the first contract. So it is doing a callback. But uh, the function being called during this flow also implemented a non reentrant modifier. And uh, as the protection against reentrancy was activated before, um, this extensive modifier will block a proper callback what results in broken functionality and denial of service. And, you know, obviously uh, in security, we think about the CIA triad, obviously by being able to DDoS and take down an, you know, an entire chain that's, uh, or an entire platform, I should say, it's a big deal. Um, so how did you find this? Tell us a little bit about how you uncovered this and what do we recommend to a customer on how to remediate this? This example, this quite simply simple example, brings us to a broader topic of something which is often called by a cybersecurity industry that push security left. So first off, this kind of misconfiguration could be avoided during the diagramming process where every call, every function is distinguished, shortly described from the entry point for every external and internal actor that can participate in the protocol. And uh, this approach can even be done before or uh, alongside the development process, allowing for some kind of overview of how, the, how our architecture works. Um, secondly, there is a powerful approach called threat modeling, which comes down to answering three questions. Who are the potential adversaries? What do they want to achieve? And what can go wrong in a particular place of, of the protocol? And it's mostly powerful because it allows to identify potential threats very early on the development life cycle and decide whether it is something that we are really afraid of. Um, and last, but definitely not the least, uh, unit testing. But here I mean unit tests where not only the happy path is covered, but also the malicious scenarios that we identified before um, are properly checked and definitely mixing up these three points can be really helpful on each stage of development. And this is also, of course, something that we are doing during the security assessment. Nonetheless, we always also recommend clients to um, think from the security perspective about tokenomics, about function implementations, yeah. about architecture, yeah. um, since the very beginning of the development life cycle. Yeah, I mean, obviously security never sleeps. There's so much more that you can continue to do um, in order to just stay safe out there. So this is what we're doing all day, every day at Halborn. Obviously, folks like yourself are scouring through code bases to see what kind of naughty business one can do uh, 
in an effort to stay safe out there. So thank you for everything you do, Jacob. And um, thank you all for watching today. I think we're going to wrap up here. Um, this is another episode of Critical Spotlight. Thanks again. See you at the next one.